Welcome back everyone to Let's Play High Fleet in our series episode number two. So pretty good start in the first episode. Launched all our different strike groups, small strike groups, our lightning strike groups you might say. Uh, off to the different cities, conquered two of them. Actually one of the two was a hex turtle, not a lightning. So they're just gathering up their fuel and we'll be pushing them on to different directions. So actually Ash Dodd are you guys ready to go? What's the situation here? Um, yeah, you're gonna need a little bit more fuel. So if I pushed them west, they would not need more fuel, but I'll probably push them east to Um, and then north to Ashkelon. I do expect that there is a hidden city in this area, but it's not super important that we uh, discover that one. It's not... Oh, okay. So we already have 40... 100 millimeter proximity fuse and 30, 130 millimeter. That's pretty good. That's something. And we don't need anything else. How are we doing here? So nine 300 millimeter incendiary. We can just sell this at any time because it is not in the game yet. Um, I like having, wow, that's quite a lot. I, I really went overkill probably on the unguided rockets 90, but right now we have no other, we have no other weapons, I guess. We have air to air missiles, which are only useful against um, fighters, so we don't expect to encounter those um, this quickly. And no real parts, okay. So let's get these guys to move on out after they're done refueling, and we're just about ready. I think these guys are so short on fuel, I'm not even going to try to break them into different groups as I normally would. That's fine, they're all at morale 10 anyway, it's not a super big deal. Um, these guys are ready to go now, fuel at 90%, so we'll send them off to En Gedi. Honestly, I probably can split them apart. Um, this group... If I was to get a tiny turtle, like, all the fuel it could handle, so that I could go and explore and probably find this city, could I do that without risking... I'm, I'm not going to risk it. These guys should still be fast enough to defeat... Like the, um, what was it called? The to beat the, the alarm. We don't want an alarm. Okay, yeah. This is only two courageous, so this should be pretty easy. The guy just never stood a chance. All right, we might uh, wait to reload a little bit on this one. Still got me. He still got me. Well played. All right. Well, pretty, <laughs> pretty quick victory there, as we expected. Okay, beeping. That's not good. So we not we have to choose something first. This is kind of a tricky situation. We have, we do have to choose something, but then what I want to find out first is: does anybody else have this? You also have this. If I have this person answer it. I don't like that as much. Now, it should be paused even when I click this. Yeah, it's pretty close. I bet they're at Nod. They might actually be at Nod. So where is it? Oh, so the fleet will be at Tushan, I'm guessing. But maybe they patrol down to Nod. I'm going to have Ashdot actually answer it. Okay, that's... I think that's going to work. So we need to give a rescue order. Probably, I think there's enough fuel that we can do that. So let's do the. So we're gonna click, click. So we didn't. We basically want to pause as quickly as possible. But as soon as you give an order, um, a rescue order, the game unpauses. We wanted these people for the radio intercept anyway. So let's go ahead and try to figure out what's going on. Maybe okay, saw it down here somewhere. I saw it. Okay, somewhere. Lower. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is mainly a race. Um, it's mainly a race for us to stop the progression of time. <laughs> I don't actually care too much about... I mean, we had plenty of time left on the, the radio intercept countdown. But yeah, it's mainly like, oh gosh, how quickly is it? 
uh, is this gonna go down? So this is probably Tushan. Speed whatever, now heading blank northwest, CPS. So they are probably going to Kuwa. My guess is this is a strike group leaving Tushan to go to Kuwa. Now we'll find out later because we know the name is CPS. So if we find out later CPS is a strike group, we can kind of guess that that was the correct analysis. Anyways, now we can focus more on this one. Is it going to get the fuel tanks in time? I think so. Not going to get the to, to disassemble the hole, but that's okay. I think what I, this is just going to play out pretty quickly. Fuel tanks, survivors, dismantle. So in the meantime, we just want to check the fuel and look at that. It's already done, ready to go. Let's get these guys off. It's a bit short. I did short their fuel just a little bit, but that's fine. The hex turtle is not the most fuel efficient. It's not terrible, but it's definitely a combat combat vessel. The nice thing is we will get intel from Im Imgur, Imgur and Lil uh, as soon as we conquer it, which we won't be able to do until all these things disappear. Yeah, Captain's Cabin, I just, I feel like they, they almost need to rework, rebalance that rescue option. It just never seems like it's useful. It does tell you where the Tarkons are, but I mean, if you're like me, at, at least in the beginning, I just go to every city, and then I'm going to find the Tarkons anyway. Okay, we rescued two people. Um, I'm going to split the lightning off here, so of course what I'm actually going to do is split these two off. Go and tell them to go at half speed, just for a second. I'll give the rescue order, yeah, and we'll pause. We'll go back over here, and they're facing the right way now, so we'll give them full speed. The lightning is going to go way faster than those two, so. Not that the teenies is like, kind of like, no, don't hold me back. The nice thing as well with sending out the tankers with these lightnings and the hex turtles is that the tankers can absorb all the extra fuel. That's only not true if you are um, just, if you just refueled at a cheap place, like this and Getty situation will be one of those. Okay, they finished, so we can conquer this. Um, looks like the lightning did take a little bit of damage. We will go for this 24 to the right. Since it's much bigger than the one on the left. Anyway, I don't know if I'll do another series on this game after this one, regardless of how successful this is. Why am I saying this? I mean, this game is a lot of fun. But it doesn't have like some of the elements which will make me keep it. doesn't have like the Hearts of Iron Paradox type uh, re replayability in my opinion. It's just a really cool um, puzzle in my opinion. A really cool puzzle to try to figure out what's the best way of... Okay, let's get rid of these. Uh, to figure out the best way of playing. Okay, 78 on that. That's pretty minor. Where are you damaged? I can go back out to the main screen and it'll show me red somewhere. 96, 94, 100, 100. I think that you are, okay, 92, I can repair that. No damaged fuel parts. Yeah, nothing's really that damaged. Bridge is fine. Huh, what's going on here? 96, 98, yeah, I'm starting to remember that they had 98. So, okay, so we'll do that minor repair. It's not that we really need to. We'll also go over here to supplies and see what they have in store. 180 armor piercing, that's... Well, let's get a couple of those just in case. Honestly, you know, we don't even need 180 armor piercing. 180 doesn't even need to be armor piercing, but 180 proxy fuse we do want, so I'll get 10 of those. Mainly, I, I feel like mostly what I need is prox fuse. I end up being able to blast my way through the armor if it needs to happen. That's only not the case with strike groups. If I have my hex turtle go up with either 100mm or 130mm guns against something like a strike group, that will be when I want to use armor piercing, but that might be the only case I want to use it. All right, we'll sell the fab 1000s here. I guess I'm going to sell these as well. <laughs> I'll just get rid of them. Okay, good. So we got this Tropo whatever scanner. And first things first, there's CFS doing exactly what we guessed. Pretty cool. That that, I mean, the game didn't have to tell me that. I kind of wish I had seen a different strike group because I kind of already guessed that. But let's find where the trade fleets are. Ooh. 
Now it's going up to Tushan, which is going to be a, a tall order for us to track down. And it's stopping there. Okay. Disappointing. If this owl was actually heading south or even east or just anywhere but north, we could probably make a run at it. But the fact that it's heading up there, well, we're not going to go anywhere up there anytime soon. So um, all this really tells us then is the name of a transport. So if we see owl or if we see albatross, we might be able to run down. But if we don't get albatross, at least we know the name in the future albatross refers to a transport, not strike group or anything else. And maybe there is like a list of names you can like gather over the course of multiple playthroughs and you would know exactly what that alpha you know albatross is always on the transport list maybe that's the case but that's not something i know so we have a little bit of fuel we want to do here first and after that fuel we will push on uh, to i guess we have to go to kush first i mean if we're not going to make it if albatross is going to get to the the headquarters city before we can get there. I don't think there's really any point in us um, uh, like rushing anywhere closer to them. Let's do like this. Okay, that was pretty convenient. Not a single shot was fired in anger at us. And we really didn't fire at our shots in anger either. It was more, you know, the necessity of the situation. Okay, ever ready? Not that important for uh, a ship with only two guns. Cruising range. I think this is what we want because this is I, I think this is an effective I think it's effectively an increase in fuel efficiency because I don't think it makes you hold more uh, does it all right how do we want to work this I do want oh yeah I do want oh okay I want everything of course but we might have to screw the radio room but I can't do that forever okay we, we'll do, we're gonna do disassemble the whole parts I think what we could do, what I probably won't do, but we probably could do crew protection and then get this, which sells for 3000 it's pretty expensive. I don't know how much value the disassembled whole parts count for. Probably not that much. Maybe I should, should, should just do crew protection, or I could risk taking the accident. Mm, I think I am going to do this. I can do this, and then fuel tank, and then dismantle. Okay, we'll try it. I don't know if we'll be able to get everything here. It's quite possible we will not. And this group, although it's moving super slow, just imagine if I had taken the Sebastopol. <laughs> okay, so we got that, and we can definitely do fuel tanks, and it doesn't look like we're going to have enough to do the 37s. Damn. Ding, 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 ding. Please. What if I say please? Not looking good. I am, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get it. Oh. oh my gosh, they're still there. Um, here's the, the real trick. If I do if I do not secure the ammunition, it might blow up the 2A37s anyways. I'm going to go for it. Want to make sure everything's going okay. Okay, yeah, so these guys are already done over here. So we can get them to move on to Kush. It's good to note, by the way, that these guys do somewhat travel outside the trade lanes. They're not exactly on the gray lines. Anyway, we'll head here. The lightning probably is in yeah, it's basically in range to, to disembark from the group already, but we'll we'll let it stick with it for a little bit. Uh, let's see what happens. Please destroy the crew cabins. Oh, okay, destroyed the radio. That's okay. Actually, crew cabins have still some value. It's not like completely useless. It's just that I, I want to start getting ready for when the radio rooms are no longer... I mean, so when the radio transmissions are encrypted. It'd be nice to already have a leg up on that. Um, we do have enough fuel, I think, this time to at least do this little trick. So we'll do 
that. These guys. Put down. And now you guys are back up. Okay, good. Got the gold elephant. I think that's everything out of Engedi. Is it not? It is. Okay, lightning took a little bit of damage, maybe. Um, oh, it looks like there's a Tarkon here. Unless this is a mercenary port. Oh, no, it's a mercenary port. Could be both, but more than likely it's just a, a mercenary port. Do our landing. The lightning is just... It's such a good vessel. Nice. Oh, it lands so easily. Man, I wish that was a Tark. Oh my gosh, it is! <laughs> a Paladin Mark II. Now, unfortunately, the Paladin Mark II is... Well, it's good. It's good. It just has a lot of missiles I don't care about. Also, the Skylark. That's interesting. Okay, so cool. Um, that is a good thing. Let's go to supplies first and just see what we need. Okay, we have plenty of fuel. Our first Tarkon, that's exciting. Okay, we got a 100 millimeter laser guided, just one of them, but we'll sell it for 500. And did you know, by the way, you can click on this list to actually buy and sell. Of course, if it's not already out here, you can't buy anymore. But I didn't know that. I actually, I would go to different places where I knew, like, for example, the 130 millimeter incendiary. When I knew it was on the shelf, I'd be like, okay, go over there, and that's where you can sell your incendiary. Turns out you can sell them just from this list. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, yeah, so we don't really need to do anything there. Ship works. Um, technically, this lightning says it's hurting, but I don't think it is. 94? 96, it's so minor. Just don't think I'm gonna repair that. 94, I'll repair, I'll do that. 80, 80, 79, not gonna repair. It's funny, because I used to, like I said, I mean, people who have watched my first playthrough, you know I was very, very thorough about repairing everything, but now I don't think it's that necessary. Okay. I guess the next order of business is to meet with the Tarkon, which moved. <laughs> Always, uh, you know, once you go into one of these stores, these uh, landed ships all move about. It's a little bit deceptive. It's uh, difficult. I don't know. Funny. A group of people from the ship approach you. They are all dressed in military uniforms, but do not appear to be armed. So it looks like Omar Khan is our man here. Tall lame walks ahead of the rest, his face is open to the elements, and his sword shows its hilt from behind his back. All signs of a man of noble birth. Okay, so we have um, several options here. I believe this guy is a, a strong Garat guy, so I could say Glory to Garat, which will probably be something he wants to hear. In fact, my experience with Omar is that he typically doesn't like the Romani. And I don't really understand the fear game, so... Let's just go with Glory to Karat. Omar Khan hates Elames. Well, that's all right. We can immediately get him up to a level two and he will like us if we just give the small pot to him. So <laughs> let's try this instead. I'm looking for allies to wage war on Kiva. Will you join us? Okay, there aren't any other Tarkons around here. Fine, that's fine. But he joins. Paladin Mark II. Money, money, give me money! Ah. Sometimes I actually don't give him the the book or whatever. The, um, uh, the pot, the smelling incense or whatever it is. I forgot what's in there. Because, I, I mean, if you can get his stars up above two, that's much better for you. Not only do you get usually give a little bit of money from the end of the minigame, but on top of that, you uh, 
get three stars, so which means you can ask for help more often. Although Omar probably is going to come to like us if we just play the, the Prophet, the Faith game. Which is, I feel like, a safe way to approach things. That's usually how I do it. Okay, let's see. So, nothing really for the shipyard. There's really nothing for us here. Unfortunately, now we have a Paladin in tow. Which is not what really what we want. Um, Paladin, let's actually go take a look at this ship. It's uh, pretty good. It's got the two, I think it's the two 180s. No, just the one two-barreled. And we can actually get rid of this one being elevated, which means that I think that everything is perfect just by removing, um, you'd have to move this block. I think it's possible, but okay, it's, it's probably fine because basically it, we just miss out on some of the side to side 37 millimeter. But this, this ship just has so many ding darn R5s. That's it's really a missile platform more than anything. I don't actually like that. I actually prefer to have, you know, gunboats. It's just the way I like it. But not much we can do about it. It's a free ship. And who's going to complain about that? Now, since Engedi doesn't really have much other than mercenaries, I might leave the Paladin in here for now. Um, let's just take these guys. They're going to get more fuel from Zephy and Gizrum and all these places just by raiding. So I'll just take a smidge more fuel just to make sure we can get to... Nah, I won't do that. So just get these guys up and about. Push on and the Paladin will stay local. Okay. I'm staying local. This Paladin, this Lightning can also... Yeah, Lightning is definitely in good enough shape, so let's do this. Okay. Lightning is cruising on. Oh, we left fuel in Engedi. Whoops. Um, that's okay. We'll use this as... Or it's not too late to turn the tanker around. Okay, maybe I'll just turn the tanker around. Yeah, it's so lightning and lightning already has enough fuel to get there. So yeah, let's send the tanker back just to collect that extra fuel. My bad. I think we'll join us later. So I guess maybe we'll take this teeny into the fight. It has morale 10, so... We do, we do need to watch out for the morale of our ships, but... Morale of 10, 9, 8, 7... Anything above 5 is probably fine. 5, I'm, I usually just... You know, I start to consider trying to pull them off the line somehow. Okay, let's hope that this is the hex turtle leading good. It's fast enough that they usually they cannot report in time, although this is getting close. You better get there, my friend. Oof, right at the nick of time. Well, just two courageouses, too. That would have been a real tragedy to lose to <laughs> some courageouses. Can we miss? Like they're good to me. There we go. And that's that. Has the hex turtle been hit yet? Has it even been shot at yet? I think so, but maybe not. They're just too scared. They don't know what to do. They see the hex turtle and they're like, oh my gosh, the design, it confounds me. Alright, so we do have a lot of weapons that we can acquire here, and by a lot I mean two, but. We have um, survivors. This is this is a really good session. So what we probably want to do is forget the crew cabin, fuel tanks. Um, we want to do fuel tanks first, then ammunition, and then survivors, and then just grab the weapons as we can, or probably the fuel tank, ammunition, and then weapon, and then survivors. Well, anyways, that's we're gonna start doing something like that. That looks really good. Very happy with that. They've emerged. And this lightning is just really zipping ahead. Yeah, no way that they're gonna... Wow, he got there before I even had a chance to... He uh... got there before I even had a chance to finish the rescue. Oh, kind of shooting off his leg. Now he's airborne now. Oof. 
took some hits there. Hits I really didn't want to take. Now, let's make sure we don't get hit but again. I'm fine with missiles, trust me, I'm fine with missiles. guy's dropping a bomb on me. <laughs> Ambitious! Oh, fuel's going down. Oh my gosh. He's using... What? What in tarnations he's using actually proxy? He wasn't even using proxy at the beginning. Whoa, that's... That's not good. That was actually pretty bad for us. Um, we'll take it. We gotta take it on the chin and keep going, but... We took quite a lot of damage there. Okay, so between the two, yes, I will absolutely take the D80. Ah, but that's a painful little experience for our lightning. Didn't lose a part, thankfully, so just repairs, but still, painful. Yeah, I would love to do the radio rooms, but hey, we got other stuff. Bigger fish to fry, essentially. Alright, three sloggers. This is... Well, this could be a fight. Sloggers are, unfortunately, kind of resilient. Ton of missiles. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is everybody using proxy? They actually lit me on fire, those ding dongs. Okay, one down. Go, 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 get the hell out of here. We're getting some good hits. Okay, yeah, we are definitely getting good hits. But if they fire that proxy stuff at me again, I'm just... I mean, there's not much I can do about it. It's very hard to avoid that stuff. He's out of control. Alright, we did. We got it. But boy, we took some hits. I don't think I see any... Did we lose an engine? No, I don't think so. Doesn't this engine kind of look like it's upside down? Is it there? I can't tell. <laughs> we'll find out when we have to repair it. Okay, Royal God, that's really good to see. Take it. Hmm, this is kind of a tough one. I think we're going to go ahead and do the survivor's approach. We'll be very merciful people. My goal here will be survivors. Ammunition will probably go off. It'll probably kill the D-80. If it doesn't... Well, basically, whatever it doesn't kill, we'll take. So, survivors first. And this is either going to take out the... I mean, they could take out the fuel tank, but this is, would it be a... Oh, it did take out the fuel tank. Well, we'll take the D-80 then. Although we can't, because it's probably waiting on me to rescue over here. Look at that, we got two rescues that need to happen. Um, wait, was that a signal coming in? No, just the phone moving to react to my movements of the map, which is pretty cool. Okay, disassemble. Ammo safe. So this is <laughs> like a microsecond later, this one's ready to go. Yeah, so we got everything we really want here, but we want these for money. Could start doing the radio room, though. I think I'm going to start doing the radio room. And that just a microsecond later, now we have another repair. Yeah, between these two, I need the D80. That's just, it's hard to pass that up. Okay, so you're good to go, actually. Tanker. Move on. Well, actually, what we could do is have the tanker meet us in Gizrum, which would save us the need to stop in Zephy at all, and no reason for us to stop in Zephy. So we're actually going to do it that way. So they'll hang out here for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a rescue. That must be this one. Yep, they're going to need to do some repairs. Because this lightning got blasted. Oh, it is a it is a repair city, so that's pretty convenient. Take a drink of water. Don't even have to look. You know with the lightning you're safe. But isn't it more elegant when we come down nice and soft? Might have been too heavy there. Nope, still okay. Perfect. I don't think I've taken... No, I don't want to say it. Knock on wood, don't jinx myself. The landings have been going okay. Hopefully that was vague enough that I didn't jinx myself. 
Um, there's the incendiaries, but we already sold them. Uh, 180 millimeter incendiary. Yeah, we'll sell those as well. Um, everything else. Oh, 100 millimeter incendiary. We don't really want that, so we'll sell that. Armor piercing procs. Armor procs. Procs. And got it. Perfect. No bombs though. What the heck is going on? What this this playthrough is like completely devoid of bombs. Just get a few more missiles because they're there and I have the money. I am just I kind of I kind of do that. I'm a hoarder. I see it and I buy it. I just don't end up ever needing it either. All right, let's do some repairs here. But are you going to dang it anyhow? Okay, so let's do these repairs. And then just hit okay but then take these off. Guess we can do it that way. So the rest of the repairs are only going to take 0.1 hours. Fine. Perfect. It's the one part that got walloped. 94 is okay-ish. 90 is not okay. And 76. And those are both being repaired. 100 there. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, I'll leave that. Go ahead and repair yourself. And again, there's no real parts that I want to take here, so you're all good. Supplies already checked. All good. All good. Okay, so we basically advanced time for a second. Need new rescue orders. Starting to get something for radio, which is nice. Okay, so now it's going to be probably... I think we'll only be able to get one of these, but we'll try to get both. And these guys are done then? Yeah, I guess so. Let's get through the repairs. Something doesn't look right here. Yeah, these guys got... We, we lost an engine. Which means that this might be a little bit more challenging. I am going to try to land at the 50. This must be a mercenary place. I see all these stuff. Yeah, the reason why it'll be challenging is because we'll be a little imbalanced with our thrust and weight and all that. But lightning can land easily, even with three engines. Or, I guess it's five engines, but... This is what it looks like, though. It, a lot worse, since we're dealing with... Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, we did take some damage on that landing. Not too, not too surprising. Trying to land without an engine. And I see another lightning here. I don't know. That's actually a tough question. I don't know if we need another lightning. Intrepid would be pretty good, too. Let's just get to the repair business first, because we know that this is going to be a bit expensive. And thankfully, they didn't ask to repair our... Well, they don't have um, the escape pods, which is... <laughs> in my opinion, that's fantastic. In 92, we will, we will repair, and we'll definitely repair in 81. 98, 99... This one's already getting repaired. That's all getting repaired, 23. Okay, good. So, we took a heavy blow, but it's only gonna cost us, six hours is the bigger thing, actually, but only 70 is the cost. So we're gonna have to sit here for a while. Now, if we had another D80, we would actually have the ability to do the refit, but probably not the right time to do that anyway. So, yeah, mercenaries, we know that there's a lightning there, and there's a skylark over here. So we, we are aware. And it looks like the only one who hasn't gotten uh, damaged is still the hex turtle. Not too surprising. She's armored. Okay. Moving on. And, you know, five hours here, but it's going to take a little while for the other ones to catch up anyway. More repair orders. Yeah, there's no way that we're going to do both the survivors and the 3,000. We're doing pretty okay on money, I, I, I feel. So I'm going to go for the survivors here. Part of me feels like that's a mistake. At least when I start getting pressed for cash, I start abandoning those survivors, but... And um, doesn't look like we'll have enough fuel to make it to Ashclon. 
Or maybe just barely? Okay, well, let's see. Um, yeah, there's just no damage on the Hex Turtle. Again, I'm actually not sure that she's even been shot yet. Mainly just want to check the parts. There's nothing here. Supplies. Finally, we see some bombs, although really not the kind of bombs I was hoping to see. I want the 250s, and when I see 250s, I will splurge for them. We'll buy the entire pack. So just to satisfy my craving to shop, I will buy 10 more 130 millimeters. I don't really feel like the 100 kilogram bombs are worth it. They're pretty cheap. Ah, uh, you know what, I'll guess I'll, I'll get 20. So that's a, a thousand money. It's not cheap. Okay, fair enough. Mostly we're a rocket-based air force, but we now have a few bombs. And yeah, this is an intel center, so I can get more information. Let's do that. Okay. So the next strike group is way up here. Tarek, moving around. More importantly, trade groups. Okay, so this is Frigat, and it is moving up to Didon. That'll be pretty hard to catch. Ah... That is doable. That is doable. Now, right now, as of um, so far in this series, we have not been, I mean, in this campaign, we have not been detected. Nobody has raised an alarm for us. Um, I, my goal is to make it as far as I can without the first alarm going off, but I'm actually surprised we've made it this far. It's not that difficult, it's just that I always muck it up somehow. So, good on us that we actually made it this far without getting uh, detected. Um, one of the easiest ways, I mean, so it's kind of an unlucky thing, because most of the time what happens is I'll encounter a transport fleet, a trade fleet, and they, if they are mobile, will immediately radio your location. That sets off the alarm, and there you go. You, you, you know, the cat's out of the bag. So it's a little bit unlucky that we've visited all of these places and have not found a transport fleet yet. Could be, I mean, honestly, it's probably worth the 15,000 money or so that you get to, you know, we can wait off an alarm for 15,000. I'm happy to do it, so. Okay, I guess this is a good place to call this video to a close as well, since we have this nice little lull um, in activity. So I'll catch you back for the next one. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.